Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be jumping in to yet another daily race. This time it's Dragon Trail Seaside Reverse, which is known for its infamous chicane of death. But thankfully we're doing it from the other angle this time, so it's not at the end of the lap, it's right at the beginning. Uh, so we've got four laps in Group 3 machinery. So let's jump into our first race. So we're going to start our first race in P10. I did all of my qualifying before I started recording. So let's go. So it looks as though for some reason we're now P9. As we follow closely behind V Stupid in P8. Look to make a move down the inside. We get squeezed real wide, but we complete the move. Not too bad if I say so myself. As we're now heading towards the other end of the infamous chicane of death. Let's see what happens. Ah, P7 losing it and takes us out as well. And with such a short race, that is pretty much going to be us. All the way down to last. This section here is really fun. A whole bunch of really fast S's that are kind of tricky. It's really easy to lose it. We're now close, uh, closing the gap back up to P14. Who goes wide on that corner and will take that place for our own. Further ahead, we're now starting to catch P13. Coming into the chicane of death once again. Let's see if we can win the lottery this time. They don't. I see that. Get distracted. Tag the wall myself. But we make through it without too much time loss. So we start to make it a, a cheeky little look on the inside to see if we can make P13 make a mistake, and they do. So we will take that position for ourselves. Going down through the S's, we make it through successfully. Onto lap three now. You can see P12 losing it. Coming into turn one, well before turn one, they lose it which gives us P12, which is a pretty nice recovery, considering we got taken out on the first lap. The chicane claiming yet another victim. Heading now into this really tricky corner to nail. Getting the braking just right is really important to give you a good exit. P13 giving us a little bit of a nudge don't know what happened to old Dean the Machine there, but we'll take that position for ourselves. Heading into the final lap now, starting to catch back up to P9 and P10. Watching them have a little battle. Heading once again into the infamous chicane. I can see them starting to have a little bit of a battle, so I lift off and break a little bit. And P12 gives us a nice punt into the old barrier. I cut the corner, which is going to give me a penalty. But it's not as bad as P11, who's gained himself a three-second penalty. So if I drive well, I should get that position back. Which is a shame we were catching up to the other two. But a slight mistake from me and a major mistake from P11. But one car's just going to absolutely spin off. So we're going to claim two positions with that penalty, so not too bad in the end. A nice recovery all the way up to P10, but it's not as good as a start as I would have wanted for the first race. But it's alright. We're going to do two more. And Ola saying they're sorry, and I had to give the obligatory no problem back to them. So for the second race, I decided to jump into the GTR Nismo instead. You know, trying out a different car, seeing how it goes. And it's a much stronger feel this time. So we're going to be starting all the way in the back for P12. Which isn't too bad considering, you know, the chicane right at the beginning. We might be able to claim a couple of places. A little bit of a friendly tap from the car behind as one car gets sent off to the Shadow Realm. Now I can see up ahead, this is where it should be 
either completely safe or absolute carnage. And it was almost carnage with that Porsche. It's not a Porsche, it's Supra. Tag in the wall. One car's lost it, so we gained two positions there, which is quite nice. All the way up into P9. And we're going to gain another position in P8 as that car just gets completely wrong. As we're catching up to P7, so this is quite a nice drive from the back. It's a good start by me, if I say so myself. So we're following Kenny very closely through these S's. Such a fun section. This is such a fun course. The daily race is absolutely knocking it out of the park. Staying close, hoping that they make a mistake, and they do. The car ahead also makes one, and we complete the overtake on the inside. Thankfully, Kenny giving us a little bit of room to allow us to make that overtake. All the way up into P6. The highest position I've been all night, and I throw it away like an absolute clown. So we're going to lose one position, we're going to lose another position, so just as quickly as we gain those positions we lose them as we head into lap 2. Have a look down the inside, but P7 is having absolutely none of it, tries to squeeze me, gets a little bit of a tap, not much I can do there really as we head into the infamous chicane again. And I get it wrong. Kenny gets it absolutely wrong. Loses themselves two places. As I can't seem to control the car. So I go down the inside. Tap Kenny as I'm trying to prepare myself for the second corner. And lose two positions. All the way back down to P10. As we start the third lap, not too far behind these two now. So I try to go around the outside, make a move, double move happen. Doesn't quite come off. But we might be able to might be able to make a good move on P9, and we do, and we take it. It's a very good exit out of that corner. Being really cautious through there, I can see P8 breaking. So the in all of the races, people either go through it flat out or break on the apex for that. So you've got to really keep your wits about you and try to figure out what the car ahead of you is going to do. Because if they're breaking, you don't want to pump them. So heading into the final lap now. Still in P9. Still defending against Kenny in P10. We'll make it through there pretty cleanly. Still trying to figure out the best way to take this corner. That's going to give us a really good exit. It's been here. This real fun section is really, it's really fun when you get it right. That little downhill S kind of reminds me of Laguna Seca a little bit. But we all take P9 not too bad going up a couple of places especially in a harder lobby you know quite a few a ranked drivers when i'm still ranked b myself so beating a couple of a ranked drivers makes me feel real good heading into the last race but for this i'm going to jump back in the super and we're going to start p8 it's a nice and in the middle of the field as we get away for the beginning of the first lap, heading through T1 and T2. We hit. think about going down the inside, but we don't. We're not close enough to make that move, and I see my traction control has decided to set itself to three, and I lose a position as I'm distracted. I'm resetting my traction control. Not this is not where you want to go too wide. You do not want to go too wide into this section at all. And the car behind us recognizes that and backs off, conceding the position for us. So I try to take my line, which... 
doesn't quite work. As we head further into the yeses, the car ahead of us just decides to turn into the grass, another one spinning completely the wrong direction. And as we take a void, uh, void in action, allows P6 to catch up to us, bully us a little bit, unsettling the car, but they take the position as we slide down to P6. Unfortunate, but I know that I can drive faster than uh, all P5. Well, I feel like it. So I'm going to drive safely. You can see the position and try to catch them to make it through here nice and safe. And I hang back a little bit just to see where they're going to be breaking to see if I can outbreak them a little bit. But no need because they're going to drive themselves directly into a wall, giving us P5 in a really nice run on four, jumping into their slipstream, pulling out to the right, taking that inside corner, but they take us on the outside through the S's. This will still sit in P5 with a good shot for P4. This is another corner that's absolutely important to get a really good exit on. You've got this nice fast section through here. And we're still managing to keep up with P4. Show them that we are willing to go on the inside. Try pressure them, not that I'm going to make a move, but they do make a mistake. So I take a little bit of the slipstream and go down the inside. And P4 is ours. So four, four seconds plus on P3, so at this point, with two laps left, I figure I'm going to try cement this P4 position for myself. And I almost throw it away in typical me fashion, but the cars behind us don't capitalize on that, which is good. And not having cars ahead of us going into this section means I can take it the way that I know how and I don't have to worry about cars ahead had more snack bar being a bit cheeky taking the inside and does take the position from us so once again that's why it's so important to get that corner right because you can gain good positions for it and it just sets you up for this whole section here jumping ahead to the final lap now Catching up to P4, I really want this position back, so I'm doing everything in my power. And we're somehow caught up to P3 now as well. So I'm thinking, at this point, I can get P3. Like, with these two battling, I could get P3. And with them battling, I can see P3 going a little bit wide there. Admiral Snackbar, brilliant name jumping ahead onto the podium and at this point I'm feeling it's a little too late for me it's gonna be p5 still best result of the night though but p4 in their battle gets a little too eager and basically just hands me that position I'm gonna cross the line in p4 the best finish all night and since my return back to Gran Turismo the best finish I've had in the daily race which feels good feels really good it's nice to see that little bit of progression giving me a nice result at the end of it nice and short video for this week uh, let me know if you do like my kind of like stream of consciousness of me commentating the races that I've edited or if you'd prefer it to be a little bit more scripted or me recording the voiceover as I'm actually racing um, all the feedback would be greatly appreciated and you know the usual the click the bell subscribe thumbs up all of that kind of stuff um, I'm trying to do one video a week which I feel like I can do with my current uni schedule so next week um, it might be a little bit different from Gran Turismo but it will still be racing I'm partaking in a Assetto Kotsa uh, racing series so I might use my footage from that just to mix it up a little. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.